President William Ruto is tonight asking opposition leaders to allow the government to deliver on its promises, saying the political season is over and that it is time to work for the people of Kenya. The president says his government is focused on implementing key issues affecting Kenyans, like decent housing and access to affordable credit. He was speaking during the commissioning of more than 5,000 housing units under the Affordable Housing Project in Mavoko, Machakos County. Take a listen. It is during a stopover in Mavoko, Machakos County, while on a tour of duty to launch the construction of more than 5,000 units in Siokimau area that President William Ruto took a swipe at the opposition. The president telling opposition leaders the time for politics was over and that all the energy should now be directed at helping Kenyans grappling with a myriad of challenges. Sisi wote tunakubaliana ya kwamba mambo ya uchaguzi imeisha. Bado kwani bado kuna mambo ya uchaguzi hapa? Si uchaguzi iliisha. Si mwenye kupata alipata. Si mwenye kukosa ngoje. Si ama namna gani? Si wangoje na mbele. Si tutakuwa na uchaguzi mwingine 2022. Si wajipange. Ama namna gani? President Ruto, who acknowledged the challenge of high food prices in the country, said he has put in place plans to cushion farmers who will help the government in reducing the cost of living. Najua ya kwamba bei ya chakula bado iko juu. Si ni kweli? Na tulikubaliana ya kwamba njia ya kuondoa njaa na kupunguza gharama ya unga ni kusaidia wakulima wetu wazalisha chakula ya kutosha ndio chakula ifike hapa kwa bei nafuu. Si ndio? Kwa hivyo nimeweka mpango tayari. Mbolea ya kwanza inafika hapa in the next 2 weeks. Ile ingine inafika January. The president was promised to deliver 2000 housing units in his first year in office. Says the government will now incorporate women in the construction sector, especially the affordable housing project. <laughs> For those, for this short period that is an excellent has been in the office, we have, we have 70,838 affordable houses. On the Hustler Fund, President Ruto has loaded the uptake of the cash by small business owners and urged them to repay on time to grow their limit ahead of the launch of the second phase in February. <laughs> Savings in the 20 billion housing project being undertaken in partnership with UN Habitat will also feature social amenities. The president also presided over the groundbreaking ceremony of the construction of the Nairobi Railway City project, which seeks to expand and decongest the central business district. Transport systems, in particular, are the cornerstone of efficiency. Conversely, Therefore, inadequate transport systems are a serious growth and development challenge as delays and high costs of transportation hold entire cities and nations back. What is exciting to those of us who work at the U this afternoon is the undertaking that the first phase of this project will create 5,000 jobs for our young people and another direct 5,000 jobs after completion for our people. These investments are flagship projects and they are uh, an integral part of the UK-Kenya strategic partnership. And that's a partnership that will strengthen our current 200 billion shilling trade and investment relationship and produce mutual benefits for both our great countries. The multimodal urban development plan, which will be constructed in partnership with the UK government, will be within 425 acres of land owned by the Kenya Railways. All right, on that note, we're going to take our first break here on Jeff Kanan.